Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. Now, if Apple Intelligence is not working on your device, whether you have an iPhone, iPad, MacBook, you want to follow these steps. So let's get started. First thing you need to check if your device is compatible with Apple Intelligence. Not all devices are compatible. If you have an iPhone, you need to have iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, or any of the new iPhone 16, like the iPhone 16, 16 Plus, 16 Pro, or the 16 Pro Max. Now, if you have another device that's not iPhone, for example, if you have an iPad, you basically need an iPad if you have an iPad Pro with the M1 or later. If you have an iPad Air, same thing, it needs that M1 chip or later. iPad Mini, you need a 17 Pro or newer model. And then for the MacBook, you need an M1 or later Air or M1 or newer or later Pro. And if you have an iMac, as you can see here, M1 or later, basically even with the M, uh, Mac Mini and Mac Studio, basically will need M1 Max or later. And then Mac Pro, you need an M2 Ultra or later. This list is published on Apple's website. So first thing is a compatible device. Now after you have done that, you also need to update your device to a supported version which for the iPhone is 18.1 or newer. So in your settings, go to general software update and check if your phone or your device is updated to equivalent of 18.1 or newer in order to get the Apple intelligence. Now, after you have done that, if you're still not seeing in your settings, Apple intelligence, you need to go ahead and make sure your language are set correctly. For our purposes, we know, for example, United States and English are the preferred languages. So in your settings, go to general and then language or region right here. You want to make sure it's set to English as one of the preferred languages. Region, United States, although there are other regions that are being supported. So the first choice, just to verify that it works, I would recommend changing it to United States. You can always change it back to whatever region that you had. And if you don't have it, that means it's not available on your Settings. So after you have done that, the next thing you want to also go ahead and check out in your settings is going in here where it says Apple Intelligent or it might just say Siri if you don't have Apple Intelligent yet. You want to select on that and the language you want to make sure it's selected to as you can see your English for Siri language as well. Now, if you have all of these, the final thing to check is if you have enough storage available on your device. So Apple Intelligent requires at least four gigs of storage. So if you don't have four gigs available, it's not going to work. So in your iPhone, for example, in the settings, general, iPhone storage, here you can see, you can see how much storage you have. I have 88 gigs available. If you're down to maybe your last three or two, you may not be able to get that update. So make sure you free up some space by deleting unwanted apps, maybe photos, videos usually take up a lot of space so that you have space available for it. Now, if you have done that, upgraded your phone, you have a compatible device, have enough storage, the final thing to do is follow this method. For iPhone, you're going to quickly press and release the volume up, quickly press and release the volume down, and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. So I'll do volume up, volume down, and then I hold on to this side button. Now, this is known as a force restart. For iPad, it's going to follow a similar pattern where you press up and down the volume up and volume down button, then hold on to the touch ID or the power button. And then if you have a MacBook or any other device, you want to restart it, which will also go ahead and do it. And it'll just basically reload the code. So for some reason, Apple Intelligence isn't showing up. Following this will ensure that it is going to appear on your device. And essentially, that's it to get Apple Intelligence. By now, you should have it. Again, make sure your uh, device is updated to the latest version. Have a compatible device. Set the language to English and United States as a test and then having that 4G of storage and restarting it. And I hope this video was helpful, so please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.